for Shrewsbury and Cambridge. The challenge is simple. Avoid getting sucked further into the relegation battle below. Just a point separates these two before kickoff, with Cambridge hoping to avoid a repeat scenario of last season. They need a result on the final day to survive. Shrewsbury, the division's lowest goal scorers, will hope that victory at Northampton last time out can spark a revival for their misfiring centre forwards. Paul Hurst badly needs a result to kickstart his second spell in charge at the New Meadow. early on. A free kick. Cambridge's direction. She needs to get the big men forwards. Towards the far post, only half cleared. Here's Lancaster. Worked into the penalty area. And falls for Benning. Always rising. Some power. And smashed over the top. The free kick goes Cambridge's way. Danny Andrew stands over this one. Whipped in towards the near post this time. Lancaster. And there's the ball across from Digby. And the goalkeeper keeps it out. Vital save. Quick reactions too. Shrewsbury looking to attack at the other end. And that was the first real opening for either side. Digby's ball in. It was Morrison rising highest. Rossi was behind it. And steps Bennett. Here's Winchester. It's a wonderful ball out to find Jordan Shipley. And there's Udo. And there's the opener. Daniel Udo tucks it home. He scores for the second game running. Paul Hurst seems to be working his magic at the New Meadow once again. Shrewsbury lead. It's a fabulous ball to find Jordan Shipley. And he knew the run that Daniel Udo would be making. And the Shrewsbury centre forward applied the finish. Here's Andrew. Lancaster. Lancaster will latch onto it once again. And there's Taylor. And there's the equaliser. Lyle Taylor in the right place at the right time to slot home. Only signed in January. And what an impact he's making. The second goal for the club. It was great persistence. Jack Lancaster didn't give up on it for a moment. And look at the run from Taylor. Another veteran centre forward. Never going to miss from there. So back to square one at the start of the second half. Scores level. He was there. To be one for either side. Cambridge will be relieved that their trouble in front of goal hasn't extended to today. It's just their third in their last six games. And they're coming forward again here. It's Elias Kachunga. And there's Taylor again. Sensational start to the second half. And Cambridge have turned it around. Lyle Taylor has his second. Three goals now in four games for his new club. 
What a huge impact he could have on their chances of staying up. Kachunga's penetrating run. Picked the right pass. And the emphatic finish from Lyle Taylor. Shrewsbury 1, Cambridge 2. Response required from the hosts. They've won a corner. Even Benning working hard on the left-hand side. Towards Feeney. Second chance to cross it in. Feeney's there again. Just couldn't guide it goalwards. Second opportunity to cross, and Feeney found the space at the near post. Couldn't get the required touch. Here's Feeney. This has been well worked, and now blocks him in towards Udo. He's demanding a corner. Assistant referee says that Daniel Udo got the final touch. It was a scare for Cambridge either way. Flash past the near post. Look forward towards Thomas. And cleared. Bloxham's done really well to bring that down. And he can advance towards goal here. Still going, Bloxham. Across came Michael Morrison. The block needed making. And he got there just in time. Tom Bloxham letting fly. It will be a Shrewsbury corner. It's towards Dunkley. Loose. And somehow it stays out. How on earth a Shrewsbury not level? Bounce back to Dunkley. And Jack Stevens grateful to clutch the ball to his chest. Cambridge looking for the third goal that would really kill off this game. Turned out to Sonny Kai Kai. Kai Kai again. And Brophy! Cleared away. Look at the number of bodies in blue willing to get their body in between the ball and the goal. Sally Kai Kai given a second opportunity to cross. Picked out James Brophy. Couldn't pick out the top corner. That's a five minutes of stoppage time. She's been desperately pushing for that goal. Blocks them. Cambridge free kick. And Bloxham has not reacted well. And he may have talked himself into trouble. And that is a cheap yellow card for Tom Bloxham. And his reaction to that decision. Bloxham again. Dispossessed. When well, he's lunged in late. And he's only just been booked, Bloxham. He could be in real trouble here. And there is the second yellow card. A sour note to end on for the hosts. Tom Bloxham is dismissed. For two bookable offences in quick succession. And Shrewsbury down to ten men. A challenge born of frustration. And there's no arguing with that one. Full time, a tight, tense game, but three hugely important points for Cambridge United, inspired by their new goal scoring hero, Lyle Taylor. The drought is over. His brace helped the visitors fight back from behind after Daniel Udo's opener. For Shrewsbury, a disappointing return to form after victory last time out. And Paul Hurst's men can feel themselves slipping closer to the danger zone. It finishes at the New Meadows, Shrewsbury 1, Cambridge 2.